The BGRI 2015 held here in Sydney is wrapping up. It's brought together over 300 delegates from about 40 countries. Let's find out from the people what they got out of this meeting. This has been a wonderful opportunity to host, uh, I think, about 300 people from all around the world who are working on cereal rust here in Sydney. Uh, wonderful meeting. We've had some terrific presentations covering a whole range of uh, topics and uh, just absolutely delighted to have all of our friends and colleagues here in Sydney. So for me, the most uh, impressive of the BGRI was the ability to bring so many researchers together and have a community which exchanges information and really uh, moves forward and develop uh, addressing the rust problem. So this is for me uh, the example on how we will have to move forward on international wheat research in the future. Hi, um, I'm a PhD student and I think this the BGRI conference has really given me a different perspective. I feel like PhD students are often kind of pigeonholed in their research, so my research is really, really molecular. Um, so this has given me a, a, a totally different side um, to a lot of surveillance and a lot of breeding um, that's being done to combat re rust research. Among all the things that have been happening in these few days, I think some of the work in yellow rust is really fascinating, really interesting. Uh, the role of sexuality particularly, uh, aggressiveness across the world, I think these are issues that are being addressed really, really well in places like John Innes uh, and, uh, and the Denmark group. Uh, and I think these guys are doing a wonderful job and uh, we're following their work with great interest. For me, seeing the great advantage of the 10 years of research and see how the uh, research has evolved during the years and where are we moving forward and how the predictions are getting better, more resistance are out there making it to the field. So it's excellent uh, to see the progress they have made in 10 years. It's been a great experience so far in this conference trying to meet my old colleagues uh, because I'm a graduate from the University of Sydney and also other scientists within different dif disciplines. Um, great experience learning about uh, the progress that we've made and at the same time uh, quite happy of the fact that we've been awarded the Gene Stewardship Award for this year, um, recognizing the efforts that Kenya has been putting in in developing durable resistant varieties. Okay, so BGRI meetings are really good because you can share your information with all the people around the world, you met new uh, scientists and create uh, new collaborations, you can discuss your results and always it's really nice and you can uh, also share a good uh, experience with the people. And of course you came to Australia, that is a really nice place, so I think uh, BGRI is really good. and. We need to continue these meetings, they are really nice. Uh, I'm from India and uh, we have this problem of yellow rust uh, looming large in most of our varieties today and it makes us um, more uh, comfortable in understanding uh, that what we have been approaching today using genomics and integrating that with plant breeding principles is the right approach to take uh, because the papers which I saw here, today's paper especially, uh, is in line with what we are doing and that gives me much more confidence that we will be able to tackle the problem uh, that we are facing at the moment. That is useful to come here and discuss with you. Attending the BGRI conference, it always helps me in many ways. Uh, I get to meet a lot of people and uh, from around the world and I get to know what exactly they are doing in their field of rust. So it always increases my knowledge about the work they have been doing and uh, to hear the lectures and the things they are doing. You can get like different ideas about your research that you can do. and. Uh, and yeah, but the best part is that uh, I really enjoy meeting people around the world. So it, it, you can have different connections with them and then you can talk to them and then it can give you more, more opportunities in the future. Yep. Always good to get back together at the BGRI technical workshops. I enjoy coming back to these and reconnecting with friends and colleagues who are uh, continuing to make progress on the things that are important to the objectives of the project and to global food security. and establishing relationships that continue to make that kind of thing happen. Uh, the best thing I, 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 from coming to Sydney that first to meet all the girls from WIT from 2010 until 2015 this is very exciting. Now we become 25. Also meeting with the, all these scientists, new faces, new generation is coming in from different parts of the world. Also, this is exciting me, and the, the idea of making now, I, I'm become like a rust, also I am a physiologist, but now from all this knowledge from uh, rust, I think I am going to 
to do something with this information, with physiology, integrate physiology with uh, rust resistance in the plant. Very nice meeting. I'm very happy to be here, uh, connect with, with people, with scientists, with uh, researchers, with students. It's a great experience always to, to be here. And uh, as a breeder, I think it's a great opportunity also to see uh, what uh, others are doing, to incorporate uh, some of the new discoveries, new genes uh, to be deployed, to be uh, used in, in our own breeding program and uh, trying to incorporate some of the new technologies. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's really nice, it's great and uh, I'm also looking forward for the rest of the meeting and, and seeing what, what else is uh, coming up and uh, new experiences that they can also uh, introduce in our program. Two important contributions that I took from this meeting. Um, one, the poster session showed all these different um, steps in improvement in breed, a lot of new genes, a lot of new markers, and it's very important. The second really important contribution, I thought, was Chris Sorensen's presentation where he showed that aggressiveness is segregating in Oxinia striformis, and this has very big implications, I think, for um, long-term strategies, and it emphasizes that we need a diverse um, array of resistances, including adult plant resistance. This has been a wonderful BGRI workshop. We have had scientists from all over the world working together to collaborate on issues that are most important to world food security. My father would be very pleased to see how this has evolved and um, I know that he is watching over all of us and working, we're all working together with the hunger fighters to make sure and ensure that there is enough food for the future generations. So my take on our conference is that uh, one speaker remarked that we're very, a very successful example of the sociology of science, an example of uh, working together for the greater good. This doesn't necessarily come naturally for wheat people who are historically independent, but we've proven over the past uh, decade that it can be done uh, very successfully. And uh, I think that's one of my big takeaways for this meeting.